I am in Taupo, still in the North Island. I'm at the laundry mat, and I'm washing all of my stuff in boiling hot water. And then I will be drying it at a very, very high heat as well. I think most backpackers will already catch on to the fact that I have bed bugs. bed bugs. My bag has bugs in it. My clothes have bugs. My books have bugs. Everything has bugs. I am back in my hostel now after washing all of my clothes. They're currently in my travel bag. The clean clothes is in a garbage bag so that doesn't touch the outside of my bag which I'm going to clean right now. Um, this is our room. It's actually a really nice hostel and we have a nice window. We have a nice bathroom which actually works out really well because I'm going to clean my bag in the shower. And this, <laughs> this is the result of those horrible little creatures. I also have them on this side of my arm. Um, the underside of my arm is like really, really bad. And a little bit on my face, but no really other part of my body. I'm going to sanitize my bags. Um, hot soapy water and these like sanitizing like soap bleach cloths that I bought and um, leave them outside to dry for the night. Bed bug bites can take a few days to kind of actually appear so because I've been staying in so many hostels it's really hard to say like when I pick them up um, and I've been on buses and, and different things like that too so <sighs> and also a lot of the hostels have had carpet um, where I've been putting my bag down so you know underneath the bus I also throw my bag under there usually gets buried with everyone else's stuff, so it's really hard to say where I got them from. All I can do now is like really, really clean my stuff, go from there and move on to the next the next town. Luckily, I was here in Taupo for two days. Um, not, the, not what I was planning to spend on my kind of like free day of not being on a bus, but I'm really happy that I do have the opportunity to kind of like stop traveling for today and get all of these things cleaned and done. And... After that, I will probably go get some food. One more thing to add, just before I keep cleaning. It's like traveling backpacker roulette. Somebody's gonna get bed bugs at some point. Um, this time it was me. The hostels I've been staying at have not been poorly reviewed hostels. They have been really good, and and the prices have not been the, you know the cheapest hostel in town. And it doesn't matter if you're staying at you know a three star hotel, a five-star resort, um, bed bugs are kind of all over the place and you just have to be cautious and careful about them. Um, it's really hard to know when you have them before you get eaten alive. So as much as I would love someone else to take the responsibility for this, I'm traveling. I am the one who put myself out here, who put my stuff on buses, who sat on different buses, who you know, has been putting clothes to dry, maybe besides someone else's, my towel on bunks and things like that. So, if you are in this situation, just, I mean, just keep a level head. The worst thing you can do is kind of panic and get angry and, and get upset. So, keep your wits about you, clean your stuff, let the hostel know. It's really all I can do. So, that's just the start of the day. Hope that this is the only time I get bed bugs in New Zealand. All my stuff is clean. My bag is drying outside. I am also clean and I have, it's not my towel. I should go outside and like do a bunch of stuff, but <sighs> I have tons of bug bites everywhere and it's really hot out. I'm wearing like a long sleeve shirt so I don't scratch myself. Traveling is really fun and there's always lots of things to do, lots of things to see, lots of money to spend. Um, but now and, again, now and again, you have to have an admin day. I looked over my budget. I planned kind of the rest of my trip into the South Island. I booked a flight from Christchurch to Auckland. It's still been a productive day. Um, I'm still enjoying Dalpo. I just actually haven't seen any of the town besides the laundromat. I've done a lot of cool things in New Zealand so far and one of the things that I really, really love is how much public art there is. 
and I'm not sure if these are commissioned or if people just go for it and that there's just tons of artists walking around but it's so cool to just be walking down like an alleyway and then to get your attention kind of pulled into like one mural and then you keep walking and there's like five murals so I really love that about New Zealand so far and especially in Taupo there's tons Good morning. I am in the Tongariro National Park. We are on our way to River Valley where we'll do some horseback riding and whitewater rafting. I'm feeling a lot better today. Just had a salad. I haven't had a vegetable in 